Good morning, it's the Wexford Stamper and today is Making It Monday and today we're going to make a card using the Animal Outing stamp set. This is one of my favorites from the new catalog, these adorable little animals. We've got a rhinoceros and we've got a kangaroo with a little koala in the pocket and a little giraffe. Just adorable and the perfect set for any kind of children's card you might have to make or any card that you would love to have a cute little animal on. So let's take a look at my sample. This is the one we're going to make. This is made out of Coastal Cabana cardstock and we use the magnificent Stampin' Up! blends to color in our rhino here. So let's get started right away. Um, here's our Coastal Cabana. This is our cardstock base and we're going to just fold that and put that to the side for now. Now if you notice here in the on the front, I have another piece of Coastal Cabana that has Wild About You stamped all over it. And I'm going to show you how I did that. First of all, I took a small piece of Coastal Cabana. This is four by five and a half, five and a quarter. And I took my Coastal Cabana ink. And this is new uh, ink pad from Stampin' Up! The fabulous new ones. You just open them like a compact. Okay, now I'm going to take my Wild About You stamp and I'm gonna stamp it all over my card front, just kind of in a random fashion. And then I'm just gonna kind of follow the pattern all the way down. Just to give it a little bit of interest rather than just a plain Coastal Cabana cardstock piece. So there we go. There's our background. And what we're going to do with that, we're going to take our snail and we're going to adhere that piece to a slightly larger black, basic black piece. And let me do that just so we have a little bit of uh, background around our card front piece. And then from there, we're going to put that right on to the front of our card. Okay, so here's our card front, Coastal Cabana again. And there we go, we have our card front building and getting ready to go. Now, here comes the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and make our rhino. Now I've already taken the time to stamp the rhinoceros on here with Memento ink. And I also took the branch and stamped a little bit to both sides um, there to cover some of that white space. So now we're going to use my Stampin' Blends to color in. The first one I'm going to use is my Smoky Slate to cover up our rhinoceros. It has a, when you have a big space to cover, there's a nice brush tip that you can use. But then on the other side, there is a smaller tip. So it really depends on what you're coloring. So I'm going to go ahead and color in my rhinoceros. And these um, Stampin' Blends are just fabulous. They cover very nicely on the cardstock. And they're alcohol-based pens, so you don't really see the um, brush marks or the strokes you're taking. Once everything um, dries and blends together, you really don't see any of those brush strokes. So that's what I really like about them, because if you color them with just the regular um, watercolor pens, you can see the strokes. Okay, now what I can also do is, what's very cool about these blends is they come with a partner that's a slightly darker of the same um, color. So this is the Smoky Slate Dark, and I'm gonna go ahead and color in some of the places on the rhinoceros that there might be some shadows. Okay, and I can kind of follow along where some of the lines are here and color in on some of these little wrinkles. Okay, and here under the tusk and there's some down here around his feet and then what I can do is go back with my light color again and blend those in a little bit so they don't stand out so much so that's what's really fabulous about these pens you can blend and make shadows very easily because I wouldn't consider myself a big artist but I can do a really nice job with these blends and um there has just been a new announcement from Stampin' Up! that they've They've um, put out another, I think, 12 sets of colors. So it's something that's something that you're thinking about getting. You have lots and lots of colors to choose from. All righty, then I went with my old olive to color in all my leaves. 
Okay, and leaves over here. And then for my bird, oh, and I also put a little grass under his feet. If you noticed on my sample, I will do that again on this guy, just strokes. Give it a little bit of color. All right, then I'll go to my cherry cobbler and color in my lovely bird here sitting on the tusk. Very easy with these. And this is the um, thinner point. Makes it easier to get in there on those little spots, just as it is with the Daffodil Delight and our little bird's beak. All right, so there is my rhinoceros ready for the front of the card. Before we put it on the front of the card, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the back. I'm, I'm gonna put on the back of it a scallop circle made from our scallop circle shapes. Those are framelits that are available through Stampin' Up. And there is my rhinoceros ready for my card. Now the last thing we're gonna have to do, if you look at my sample here, is make our little banner there for the side of the card. So let me get those materials that we need for that. Find them over here, there we go, there he is. So we're gonna go back to our Wild About You and our Coastal Cabana color. And I'm gonna stamp the Coastal Cabana onto my white strip up toward the top. And there's Wild About You. Okay, then I'm going to adhere a small little heart that I cut out using my heart punch. And I'm gonna put that directly below the Wild About You, right there. And then I'm gonna use my Stampin' Snips. Okay, these are available through Stampin' Up, great paper crafting tools. And I'm going to go ahead and make a little banner. I'm gonna cut up about a quarter inch in the middle, then I'm gonna go over to the corner and cut up to that same spot. And then you have made yourself a banner. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put the banner on here on the left side at the top. Oh, that's so cute, I love it. Now, the last thing we're gonna to need to do is put on our rhinoceros. So to do that, I'm gonna use some dimensionals. And those are these little um, pieces of foam. They're double-sided and you put them on the back of your piece like this. Now, these are the minis. They come in both large and small, so you can take your, pay your choice. And then I'm gonna take off the backs. And what these dimensionals do is they give the little um, image that you're putting on a little more dimension. That's how they got their name. So it pops up a little bit on your cart and um, makes it look a little more interesting than everything flat down. So come on there. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to adhere him to the bottom corner there. And there we go. There's our card for Make It Monday. And it's made out of the stamp set called Animal Outings. There are framelits and paper and lots of other coordinating materials that go with this set. And if you're interested in it, just contact me and I'll let you know how to get it. Thanks again. Have a wonderful Monday.